opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. World T20 Champions Australia are set to defend their crown in their own den later this year. But before that, they need to prove their valour away from home in a three-match tour to India before locking horns with West Indies and England at home. Ever since the T20 World Cup, Australia have played just 90 20 eyes, but won seven of them. And they will want to continue that form when they take on India in the three games starting in Mohali. Captain Aaron Finch is set to have his task cut out come the India series. Now, initially, the squad that was to tour India was almost identical to the squad that Australia would play in the T20 World Cup, bar one change, of course. David Warner would sit out, Cameron Green would come in. Now, with injury concerns around Mitchell Stark, Mitchell Marsh and Marcus Stoinis, Australia have had to announce replacements. Nathan Ellis, Daniel Sams and Sean Abbott will join the squad in place of the injured three for the three T20Is versus India. Australia's strength is undoubtedly their bowling unit. With the likes of Josh Hazelwood in their pace arsenal and a wily spinner like Adam Zampa. The Aussies have it in them to challenge the famed Indian batting lineup. Hazelwood has picked up 14 wickets in just six games after the last T20 World Cup, and he has continued his stellar show in the ODIs as well. On the other hand, Zampa has done well against India in limited overs cricket, and he's also in good form coming into this series versus India. Familiarity with the Indian conditions for most of the players in this Australian squad should go in their favour as well. David Warner's absence will surely hand India an undue advantage because the Southpaw's ravaging form against India in the past has proven to be a pivotal factor. However, Australia's top order isn't in a great nick of late. Barring Steve Smith's recent turn against New Zealand in the third ODI, there hasn't been a lot of contributions from them. It remains to be seen how some of the youngsters in the side will step up in Warner's absence in the short series. Glenn Maxwell has been in good form in T20 cricket after a disastrous World Cup last year. He scored two hundreds in the BBL and had a decent outing with the bat in the IPL for the RCB as well. Besides his batting credentials, Maxwell's bowling should come in handy on these Indian pitches as well, something that makes him an extremely valuable asset for the Aussies. Tim David should be another player to watch out for in this series. Having played 14 T20Is for Singapore, the middle order batter will want to make good use of the opportunity for the Kangaroos. His exceptional show in T20 leagues across the world has also earned him a spot in Australia's T20 World Cup squad. The three-match series will begin in Mohali on September 20th, followed by games in Nagpur and Hyderabad on the 23rd and the 25th, respectively. How will the Aussies approach the tour? Can they pull off a surprise against India away from home? Only time will tell.